Is this book, is this book authentic? And how do we know that? That is a legitimate question. With so much writing on a single book, a single document, we would be fools not to question the authenticity of the Bible. The question, where did it come from? And how did we get it? Are legitimate questions. Anyone who is seeking truth would do well to ask that. Jesus says something about truth that I want us to notice. In the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse 31. Jesus makes a simple statement. So Jesus said to the Jews who believed him, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples. Notice that. If you abide in my word, we believe that to be the Bible. We believe that to be the word of God, the words of Christ that we live by. But he makes a statement in verse 32. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. A truth seeker is going to ask questions such as this. Where did the Bible come from? It would be very easy for us to believe that the Bible was a conspiracy theory. It would be very easy for us to believe that someone at some point concocted the idea that they would create a book that everyone should live by. And so we would question the origins. And rightly so. Fortunately, no ancient writings have been under so much scrutiny, under the microscope, if you will, as much as our precious Bibles. Our Bible has been under the microscope for many reasons. In part, people who are seeking the truth to find out where it came from, why it exists, and in part, it has been under the microscope because People do not believe the authenticity of our book. And this has all worked for the benefit of the Christian. There have been volumes written. There have been documents that have been saved through the world because of this. There are no first editions remaining. Okay, so if you think you're going to go out and buy a first edition of the Bible... Let's, let's, let's set that aside right now, okay? Since there are no first editions remaining, how then can we know the age of the Bible? How can we know that we've got the real thing? How do we know that it's not a conspiracy theory? I want to begin with a process. There is a process that is used. It's a very meticulous process that is used in checking the accuracy of ancient writings. The Bible is not the only book that they want to authenticate. Okay? They, they want to authenticate the writings of Socrates. They want to write, authenticate a lot of the Greek scholars as well. They, and so this is a process that is used in checking Socrates or some of the other uh, Greek scholars. And they use the same process on the book. We call the Bible. What they basically do is they take scraps of evidence and they compare ancient scraps of evidence. Okay, I'm not, I'm, I don't have the patience to be an archaeologist, okay? But what, what I appreciate in archaeologists is that they find details. I did have the ability to view uh, an archaeological site uh, a couple of different times. And these are, these are places where you actually get out a small paintbrush and you dust dirt away from, maybe it's something, uh, a, a piece of pottery as small as my little fingernail. And you carefully brush the dust away and you pick that up, not with your fingers, but with a little set of tweezers and you lay it aside and then you study those artifacts. Okay? 
So I want to I want us to look at things here. The very beginnings of the Bible. And I think if we if we look at the very beginnings, the starting point of our Bible is really uh, preceded and determined by another story other than the Bible itself. And that is the history of ancient books and writings. Did you ever wonder where or how human beings learned how to write? Well, nobody really knows exactly how or when human beings learned to write. But while the Bible as we know it today is very old, it is not the oldest book in the world. It is not the oldest writing known to exist. And that is, if we had a first edition written by Moses, it would not be the oldest document existing in the world today. Okay? So let's begin there. For the oldest documents, we would have to go to Egypt and Mesopotamia, those ancient cultures. Some might even argue that we would that China holds a place in the list of Egypt and Mesopotamia. But I but we would just suffice to say this morning the oldest writings are found in Egypt and in Mesopotamia. The art of writing really was quite widespread in this particular region of Egypt where, if you remember, God's people were in exile in Egypt for some 400 years prior to Moses, prior to the writing of the first five books of the Bible. And the art of writing was widespread there at about 3,000 B.C. That's about 1,500 years before Moses wrote the first five books of the Bible. We know writing, however, goes back much farther than 3,000 B.C. But paper did not exist. <clears throat> 